Hey folks, this is Cena Sarge, and today this video is really focused on helping you answer the question, can you play Myth of Empire solo? This is really a complex question, but I'm gonna do the best I can to break this down and hopefully better support a decision by you. Uh, in the background, I'm gonna have some of the Myth of Empires gameplay from a couple of my streams. That way you can kind of watch it and really just enjoy uh, me probably getting killed. I'm not sure what I put up, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So the first thing you really need to answer is, is where are you gonna play? Are you gonna play in official servers and that's ones that's owned by the developer? Or are you gonna do private servers? And that's either somebody owns the servers or something like G Portal or Nitrato. Uh, do you want to play PVE or are you looking to play PVP? So those are kind of the first questions you need to ask yourself. The PVE PVP question is probably going to be the most resounding part of this kind of leading off. And, and we know the developer has told us that, hey, we highly recommend that you start on PVE and then you move to PVP. Right now, the way it sits right now in uh, November of 2021, if you're on the official servers, you can be on a PVE server and then move to a PVP server later. So that's actually really kind of a good thing. Uh, the official servers, if you play on those, they're going to be uh, more resource gathering extensive as a solo player. You know, you're not sharing the workload with guild mates, so you're not out. They're not they're not gathering stuff and you're gathering stuff and you're kind of bringing it all together to do it. You're going to be doing that on your own or a private server. It may be a good option, but then you need to find the right server, right? The the. the a server that that really complements you, your play style and kind of who you are and who you want to be around. If you're solo, NPC battles are going to take more work. It's going to be harder. So you're going to have to pull one or two enemy at a time to take out versus going into an area with multiple guild mates and then taking that area over. And often you're going to be fighting your way into an area and then fighting your way back out of it, especially when we get to the larger bases. Playing alone does allow you to build the way that you want to, right? You don't have other people telling you, no, 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 no. Don't, don't put the bed there. Put the bed over there. No, I don't want the bed there. I want the, you, you don't have that, right? Like you get an opportunity to build it the way that you want. You also don't have to worry about Billy sticky fingers coming in and taking stuff out of your chest. You don't have to worry about that either. So the stuff that's yours is also yours, but that doesn't always mean that it's the best option um, as you go. Solo is a great way to start the game. Uh, I also think it's it's great for players that just want to kind of play at their own place or their own pace, sorry, to learn the game. I think that that's perfect. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. Hey man, sounds like you're really leaning towards the guild. See now, and you're right, I am. However, I do see the positive impacts of you playing the game solo until you hit about level 20. And the reason I say that because at level 20, your protection buff kind of comes off. That's the perfect time. You've had an opportunity to play the game. You understand the mechanics. You've had to build. You've crafted, you've gathered, you've done a lot of the work inside the game, right? You understand the skills and talents. And well, we're not gonna say you understand it because it is a, it's a, it's a very detailed game. There's a lot going on, but you're at least gonna touch it and kind of understand it. Now you're gonna be able to team up with other folks that then can help you kind of move forward at even a faster pace. Uh, joining a guild helps you share experience points, right? So if you start your own guild, you're in there by yourself. Yeah, you can do the buffs and some of those things, but it's not the same as having guild mates in the same area as you crafting because you're going to get all those experience points as well. You have folks to fight large scale uh, battles with, and that's the vagrant camps. That's the, the large castles and other things that are in the game. You're going to have people that are going to be able to go there with you, and they're going to be with you when you perish in battle. And, and nine out of 10, they're going to be able to pick you up. You're not going to have that if you're running, if you're playing the game solo. Actually, also when you're playing in a PvP based gameplay, it's good to have allies, right? It's good to be out there. As a solo player, it's rough playing PvP, especially in this type of environment. So that's something else that you should think about. And then finally, what I would tell you is uh, you can share cost of guild taxes, decaying. There's a lot of resources that you have to put into the guild, uh, you know, the, the guild tower each day to make sure that everything's there. And you're not, you're going to be doing that all by yourself. And that's a lot. I guess my whole recommendation for this whole thing is I do think you can play solo. I think you should up to level 20. Then I do think you should join a guild somewhere, be on a server, but just make sure this join the right guild or join the right server from the get go. And that's either official or that's going to be private. Make sure that you find the folks that you want to play with that they're, that they're similar to you. That way, when you join it, then that's where you're staying. Because remember, official and private don't intermingle. So you can't move from an official to private or vice versa as it stands right now. If you're not sure where to find a group or you've been looking, you've looked on the Discord for Myth of Empires, you're not finding anything. Hey, I tell you what, come on over to my community, discord.gg forward slash rally point, the link in the description. We got a great group of people. We got lots of people that like helping. We got people to build. We got people that like to farm. We got people that like to PVP. We got people that just like to explore. We got a really great group of people and, and they're gonna help you. And I think from there, you can kind of make that decision of kind of what's next. 
Well, I really hope that this helps your decision. I know I'm leaning towards that guild, but I do think there's play here for solo and being in a guild. But I think to get everything out of the game, everything you could possibly get out of Myth of Empires, it's not gonna be from a solo player. It's gonna be playing with a guild. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. This is Senile Sarge signing off.